Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is November 2nd. It is Monday. It's time to have a great week. So God bless every single one of you. Hope you have a great day today. Uh, I've got, unfortunately, some bad news to bring to people. The Euro has finally come together, and it also agrees pretty much with GFS. They're showing us almost the same track. Now, it's still uh, Hurricane Ada. It's 987 millibars. It's 75 miles per hour. Let me get to the information for you that I have for you. Now, this is a EPS Cyclones uh, for the Gulf of Mexico, so you can see everything that's going on, starting at the 84-hour mark. This is after Nicaragua and Honduras, of course. Now, if you start looking in this area, you'll start seeing numbers pop up of what could happen. But what I want to show you is the information that I found. Now, you'll see this 958 pop up right here. I know you see all these opportunity lows on a Gulf uh, by, by Florida. You're going to see one go by Louisiana. I think those are too early. Uh, but if you follow this 958, you will see it grow. 940 goes towards the Yucatan. 939 by the Yucatan. I know you see all these in the Gulf. Uh, that's also a possibility because it's early, but I'm not seeing that happen, to be honest with you guys. I'm following this one pressure. Now it's going to see Yucatan at 948, then at 957. Then you start seeing other numbers grow in the Gulf, like a 950 here, then 949, 944, 945, down to a 950 and 957 for the tip of Florida. Now the reason why I bring that up is because both GFS and Euro showing that this is going to be the track so far. Now here's your shot from the Caribbean. It's Hurricane Ada is about to go towards Nicaragua, Honduras. Uh, it will be making landfall on Tuesday. Be there Tuesday, be there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then it starts moving on its path of possibilities. One shows that it can just go hammering straight through and go ahead and go towards the Florida Keys and Florida now. And I'm just using Florida as a pinpoint because that seems to be where it's aiming for. And the other one that you've seen with the low pressures that I, I called out is this one here. I know you see ones going to the Gulf, Louisiana, East Coast. I don't see those happening. I think this is the one we need to follow. I think this one... I don't think I don't see it going out neither because the pressures, the numbers move over here. I see it starting here, moving, possibly hitting the Yucatan, moving into the Gulf, curving out, hitting Florida, and then possibly going out to the East Coast. That's the possible path that I'm seeing because the press, low pressure is going to be pushing it all the way and it will come back to the West. Now, here's your SpaghettiOs so you can see what it can do. And then, like I said, there is a possibility that it could just hammer through, but that's, that's time, time would tell. But if you see our one starting here, right right uh, to west of Cam Cayman Islands, going towards the Yucatan, and it gets strong. It gets down to 950 or below millibars. And then a lot of ensembles show that it goes towards Florida, uh, west of South Florida at that point. Now, I just want to make something clear. Uh, 950 millibars shows that it's a Cat 4 hurricane. But as far as what I'm showing as intensity level, and I'm talking about from Euro, I'm talking about we might have Cat 5 wind gusts out here, guys. So let, let me get through it real quick. It's not going to be real fast. It's the only page I got for you. Now, as far as the GFS going through the Caribbean, let's, let's mark the two models. The two are kind of... Uh, con concurring together uh, it has it down to 963 uh, millibars so that, that's a very strong hurricane that can do a lot of damage a lot of flooding a uh, major hurricane would be right around 960 like a cat 3 so it's really close but it does weaken right before and do a 971 so it looks like it could be a cat 2 landfall hurricane for Nicaragua, Nicaragua. it's going to curve towards Honduras and it's going to weaken 
That's the first five hours. I'm sorry, that's the first five days. Now the second five days of, of the same model, you can see it start up by Cuba. It goes towards Cayman Islands and then goes towards Yucatan. 9.52 on the Yucatan. 9.52 millibars. Gets stronger, goes through the Gulf, takes that path that, that those numbers were given. A 9.57 landfall. Uh, Florida Keys, Florida. This, this is catastrophic damage. This is going to be terrible, guys. This is flooding the rains the, the winds is everything and it's going it's not going to lose intensity it's going to come out the other side of 962 and 966 this is going to be a major hurricane all the way through florida and it looks like so far it's getting close to where it comes out by miami goes to the east coast still a strong hurricane and it causes problems over there as well and we're talking uh probably High waves, terrible storm surge. It's, it's too far away to do the, the wave run. I wouldn't believe the information if I did it. Now the GF, the G, GFS for the full full run, just to show you. There it goes, just getting built up, goes towards the Yucatan, strengthens. The high pressure pushes it away. And it goes towards the east coast, and the high pressure pushes it away up there, and it goes away. So that's, that's the model of runs that we have for that. Now, as far as the precipitation that we have, it, it, here's the same track. And it looks like the rain stops for you right there on Friday. Uh, Jamaica, your rain stops right around Friday for a bit, and it'll be mild. At that point, and then it comes back and heavy again on Sunday. Just want to make that clear. I know Jamaica always asking about the rain. We don't see no rain. <laughs> and there it goes, forming up, going towards the Yucatan. Strengthens, goes in the Gulf. There's a major hurricane. Florida Keys comes out the East Coast. I'm going to do the Euro next. I'm going to show you all guys the Euro next. Here's a shot from the from the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So you can see yourself uh, wherever you are. Because there's so many people impacted by this model. And everywhere you're looking, there's going to be damage and wind. It's going to be flash flooding. It's going to be storm surge. And then once it gets to the point to where it's getting to the Yucatan at 950 and, and, a, and moving on, it's going to be catastrophic damage. That is 950 millibars or below is catastrophic damage. And to be honest with you, uh, I believe that it is looking below that. And I'm talking about from Euro. And we all know Euro does the best on intensity. It takes a while for it to pick up because it don't do the long track thing. But it does really good on intensity. Now, that's the strongest right there, Yucatan. That's 961. I'm sorry, 96 knots. So you know what, what that is. Uh, so I can get, I'll get that information all for you. Uh, 96 knots is 110 miles per hour. That is one millibar. I'm sorry, one miles per hour away from being a major hurricane. Then it moves on. It looks like it goes down a little bit, 88 knots. So then it keeps moving on, 91 knots. It strengthens back, 94 knots. And at 90, at 94 knots, it's still it's still strong. It's still 108 miles per hour. And then right there, it turns into uh, a major hurricane for a second, 96, 97. It's at 97.5. Yep, that's it. 97.5, 111 miles per hour. It's major hurricane status. Then it gets to 99 knots. And that is getting crazy numbers. And this is from GFS. Imagine how it's going to look when we look at the Euro. Because the Euro does impacts a lot better. It gets to 94. Then impact. Florida Keys. 89 knots, 80, 81 knots. Which is looking real good. A lot better because 99 was 113 uh, miles per hour 89 is 102 it's still 
terrible, still catastrophic. It's catastrophic, but it's not, it's not the worst, worst case, but it's still a bad case scenario. Comes out the other side, 63 knots, which is 72 miles per hour, guys. Goes up to East Coast. All right, here's the final maps. These are the Euros. So let's take a look at what Euro has for intensity. So far, he has it going towards uh, Nicaragua. It looks like landfall will be on November 3rd. It looks like your millibars are 993. Weakens greatly as it goes towards Honduras. Now the second five days, and I, I don't want people to be scared, but these models are all showing that this is the area is going towards is going towards possibly the entrance of the Gulf. Now this is the Euro model. And as you notice, it goes gets strengthens down to a hurricane at that point, right right by Cayman Islands. Start strengthening even more, 934, 923. And that's the last shot we got, guys. And 923, you are talking major, major damage. 921 is Cat 5 Hurricane. 921, Cat 5 Hurricane, guys. Headed for the Gulf. That is, to me, a worst-case scenario. Now, here's the 10 meter winds, just so you can see that Cayman Islands right there. And Cayman, Island, Cayman Islands, uh, Jamaica. The most I see would be about in the dark yellow because it don't build till after y'all. So, so far, it's showing maybe around 30 to 50 miles per hour winds. Uh, more, more dangerous for Cayman Islands than it would be for Jamaica. And as it goes towards the Gulf, towards Cuba, you see 110 knot winds. 110. That's 126 miles per hour winds. I just want to make that point. And here's the, the last shot I got for everybody. This is the Euro shot. This is the 10 meter wind gust. This is what possibly could happen if the Euro is correct. And Euro usually is correct on uh, intensity, especially when it starts getting a feel for the track. You see it passes by Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands get in the red, it gets in the brown, and it's it's getting bad for you at that point, buddy. It's this is terrible. We're talking and, and you gotta imagine this thing is spinning. So the storm surge, the wind, the rain, the velocity, everything is just going on with this system. And there's the last shot. Two hundred and eighty seven kilos per hour. That's 178 miles per hour wind gust. 178. So I'm sorry to be, be the bearer of bad news, guys. I'm just a messenger. I, I didn't make this pattern. So God bless everybody that is in this path of this hurricane. It's going to be catastrophic damage. It's going to be power outages. Sorry, I hit my button for the mic. And I don't even want to say what else could happen because it's just horrible. God bless everybody involved. God bless you. I don't care if you're from another country or, or another race. What, what the issue is, God bless you. May you stay safe. May God keep you under his wing because this is looking bad, guys. Please let me pray for you. Psalm. 85 Lord thou hast been favorable unto thy hand thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people thou, thou hast covered all their sin Salah thou hast taken away all thy wrath thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of the, thine anger turn us O God of our salvation and cause thine anger toward us to cease. 
Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Shew us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh, them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Amen. God bless everybody involved. Please do me a favor. Share this, this urgent message. This is going to be catastrophic, guys. It's just showing Cat 5. Damage Cat 5. Wins Cat 5. Win Gus. And this is a Euro. Okay, y'all have a great day. <laughs> Hope you have a great day in school. Do good. This is your future, buddy. Please, everybody, don't quit your job. Go to work. Have a blessed day. God bless every single one of you. All glory does go to God. Amen.